Fuck a lot, loyalty, forgiveness, forgiveness transparency, for, and uh, create together. Create together. Build together. Fuck in the morning. Oh. <laughs> but we got a couple more for this. Learn each other's love language. Uh, make sure that y'all share common like goals for the future. Because if you don't, what the fuck y'all doing together? And uh, yeah, promote each other. These questions are completely unrelated. My favorite kind of juice, orange juice. And best way to keep high self-esteem is to do things that um, make you respect yourself. Positive affirmations and self-love. Self-love. Be the person that you... Music to Die To was inspired like last year a lot, or maybe it was the year before. Uh, just a lot of artists were passing away, like iconic artists in the game. And it was making me really sad. And Doobie showed me how to make beats, and I got. It. I think that every creative person or artist has had those times, <clears throat> and you just gotta like remember what your purpose is, what your motivator is, and then just like get to work. Even when you don't feel motivated or you don't feel inspired, just like start the work. One thing I regret doing the most would just be like spending a lot of time in like self hatred and like lacking self love. And like just wasting time being miserable and not like actively trying to fix my life. My bad, the video fucked up. My favorite painting that I made is one me and my girl made last night. It's called Contemporary Chaos Practices. It's like an abstract piece. Um, I'm getting it mounted and stretched today, so I'll show y'all tomorrow. IG Live while I paint, that would be awesome. I might do that tonight. If not, I'll do it tomorrow night. That sounds like a great idea. Right now, I'm going to just uh, sh try to shoot some videos off of viral, and I'm going to just spend a lot of time creating music. I'm not sure when my next release is, but I'm going to be just dropping singles next release. Plans for future tattoos? Well, my woman wants to black out her neck and her butt crack. <laughs> I want to do this, like, face cap thing and black out my ears for sure, and then... Continuing the tattoo question, then me and my brother Ryan were planning on blacking out my entire body, doing like a blackout project where we black out my body, and then we're going to do a new body sleeve over me in white ink. It's going to be crazy. If you want to buy some of my paintings, you can just um, DM me, but also I'm going to start selling poems like this, stretched big ass poems. How am I coping with quarantine? I feel completely unaffected by the quarantine. Doing exactly what I always do, paint and record. So it's cool with me. Motherfuckers just got to stay at the crib. Let me just say real quick, if you are losing your mind during this quarantine, that that's not good. Like, you should, you should be fine. You should be at the house and, like, doing all the stuff that you do every day to better yourself. If you can't go to the gym or go to work or some shit, just read a book. Uh, definitely one book is uh, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. That's an incredible book. You can literally just read little pieces of it at a time. That looks good as fuck. Jesus Christ. You really not going to wait for me? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Another good ass book is uh, the A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. That's a fucking amazing, amazing book. That book changed my life. Um, yeah, read that book. And then read the Screw Tape Letters. My favorite band going up. Norma Jean, Sayosin, uh, Circus, Survivor. Circus Survivor is my current favorite band. Um, Cheetos was the. <laughs> this dude just asked when I'm capping off my forehead. God, I want to do it right fucking now. As soon as Ryan fucking draws that shit, everybody go DM Severe Inc. and tell him to fucking draw my shit right now. Not only did I used to listen to Indian music, I used to paint to it all the time, and then I used to fucking listen to it before and after my shows. Pretend I was in India. It helps me stay focused and positive during quarantine. Just remembering that, you know, you never know what's gonna happen in the future anyway, so no use worrying about it. Definitely work out at the crib, read some. I just stay creative, do creative things. My overall thoughts about the current situation, I think that, um, you should, people should just stay in their house and shit. People probably have a good reason to freak out, but I think the media hypes it up a little too much. I'm not worried about shit. How did my me and my girlfriend meet? We was at motherfucking CVS. I saw a tattoo on her arm. I touched her arm and was like, "Damn, girl, you fine as fuck." 
Told her that she should braid my dreads. It was, it was over. <laughs> this album was completely made last minute. Uh, I made Purell featuring Doobie first, and then I made like another song that like felt like quarantine vibes, and then me and Tasty were just like, yo, let's fucking do a whole tape. <laughs> ah, who's You're my favorite? My favorite rapper beside myself, <laughs> probably, probably Kendrick Lamar or Nas. It really just depends on the piece, but uh, I'm answering the question. Uh, I love you. It just depends on the, uh, the size of the piece, but honestly, I uh, I don't do anything small, so like a thousand bucks. So over seven months off alcohol, cocaine, pills, or any kind, except I did do, um, I did do Molly like twice, two different times, but it was like spiritual experience. It was fun. Nature and other people's art, other people's creations. Honestly, these days, the only motivational speaker I listen to is Wes Watson. I could name some other people that I used to listen to, because there was a lot, but only Wes Watson now. I got these two. I mean, I'm definitely going to do another one. I'm not really sure when. I'm going to start writing more, because I'm going to start printing poems out on canvases, but kind of focus on doing poetry art right now. Definitely get writer's block. Just get like creativity block with music sometimes. But like the best thing to do is just move on to something completely different in a different field. Take a break or like make some art, but always like come back and just get to work. You know? Yeah, my girls made a good point. All right. So like I write a lot, like just free verses and poetry and shit like that. But I don't really like write a lot of music. I, I do all that like in the studio. So my version of writer's block in there would just be like not feeling super creative and shit but i usually just like leave go create something and make sure to come back you always gotta like just make sure to return back to the work and not like be like "Ooh, i got writers but 